it's me. And this is the last in-depth video of 2015. And that's the most singing you're going to hear today. Because while I'm going through the Groove Music app, because of copyright stuff, I'm not going to be actually playing any of the music. Let's go ahead and get started. Well, hello from the other side of the pond, that is. Because I'm all the way back in the United States for the last video of the in-depth series inside of 2015. So as usual, I want to say thank you for this wallpaper. If you'd like your wallpaper featured in the next video or a future video, make sure to upload it into the OneDrive folder that is linked in the article for this video. So as I said, we're going through Groove Music today. It's a little bit of Spotify, a little bit of iTunes, and honestly, I'm a big fan. It's not quite perfect, but in my opinion, it's one of the best apps Microsoft has made inside of Windows 10. To go through a few quick settings things first, and this is actually a little bit more important in this app than some of the other ones. Yeah, you get light and dark theme, but more importantly, this is a music app, and it can have music from your OneDrive on your PC, and it can look all throughout similar to the Photos and Videos app, and that's really important because you're going to have music in different locations. So you can choose where to go. You can have it like on your PC or on your OneDrive or whatever. Again, if you have folder organization or you make something really specific, that's a really nice feature. You can also import iTunes playlists because Microsoft is honest and they know that a lot of people used iTunes and weren't on like Zoom. So you have to do things like import playlists that you've made previously. There are a lot of good options here for downloading and OneDrive and that's really nice. You can find those on your own, but honestly, it's wonderful that there are some of these options here like automatically downloading songs from other devices and that sort of thing. So if you have a lot of music, and in this case, it's actually my girlfriend who has a lot of music, and uh, I, I like music, but for Groove, she has the Groove Music Pass, and I want to show you guys every single feature that we can find. But first off, there are a little, few different views. You got albums, you got artists, and you got songs. So you get this album art here, even though these songs came from other locations and then were transferred over, they are, um, they, the, the downloaded cover art is right here, which is really nice. In songs, or artists rather, you get artist photos as well, though they are that round windowsy icon. So if you like that, great. If you're mad about it, sorry, it's here. And then in songs, you get the list as well. And I want to show you some of the different filtering options. So this is showing every single song that we have in here but you can filter that out. You have available offline streaming only on this device on OneDrive purchased and with the Groove Music Pass. So if you wanna say I only want certain songs, I only want what's on my device, don't wanna do any streaming. In my case, there's gonna be very few songs, or <laughs> in this case, none. But in general, they are easy to filter. So as I said, I'm a big fan of Groove Music. You can download songs that you already have. You can add them to playlists. You can stream them. You can do all sorts of different things here. And playlists, for most music listeners, are a big deal. So if you open up this hamburger menu here, if you need to find something, you can do that. Whole sort a list of playlists. So I got Christmas, Driving, Feel Good, etc. And it is the holiday season, so let's take a look here. Playlists can include music from things like your own album. This is an album that we own. But they, I say we, honestly, they don't have a family plan for Groove Music Pass or anything like that. But she owns it, and she let me sign in today to, to make this video. But in any event, so these are songs that she owns. But then this is a song from Groove Music Pass, and they're side by side in the playlist as if they were both ours and purchased. Now these, as I said, are streaming because of this icon. But if you'd like, you can uh, download those if you click and then right click. Bit of an awkward interface. But in any event you can um, download that here so then you don't have to stream, which is a, is a good option if you're on the road and especially because these features are gonna line up well with phones. So in addition to playlists, when you right click something, which actually upon further review, you can do without single clicking. So I guess I made a mistake on the first time, sorry about that. But when you right click, in addition to things like adding to playlists, collections, or that sort of thing, you can also move it around in the playlist, by the way. But you can also start a radio station, which is very nice. And you can pin an individual tile to start, which is great. So there's just a lot of different music options. But to jump onto the radio station thing here, if you click this and you just click start radio, it creates a radio station based on that song. So then that opens up here and you see this straight no chaser uh, playlist or a radio station rather. And it works similar to... Um, Pandora or other popular radio stations online 
and that sort of thing. And that's really nice. One great thing about radio stations is this that I genuinely enjoy is that if you're in radio and you jump into now playing, it actually shows you what's coming up next. And it lets you skip and stuff because because we have a groove music pass, we can jump around. And if you really like it, you can save it. And you can make it this kind of full screen presentation style, which if it loads, yeah, there you go. There you go. So, there we go. There we go. It took a second there. Sorry about that. But anyway, you see this full kind of looking like a presentation, that sort of thing. And it's going to cut through. So there are a lot of really good options with this radio station. Great for parties and that sort of thing as well. I'm a big fan. So in addition to radio, which is for kind of a station that they make up on um, probably suggestions and analytics, I'd imagine, there's also Explorer. So these have like what's popular now, what's the latest music that's around. Uh, it's the holiday season, so there's a lot of, you know, here's a Christmas album. So if you click this here, it's kind of a Christmas collection, and it's a playlist that they kind of make just for you, and you can go through it. So I'm a really big fan of Radio Explorer. There are a lot of really good features. Like I said, I like Groove Music. I, I, I know that there's some hate for it. I don't really see where it's coming from. I definitely think it's worth taking a look at. And if you just want to play music you own, it's pretty easy to get things in from iTunes. So I, I would recommend taking a look at it, seeing if you like it, and then making up your own mind. So that's about it for Groove Music. Honestly, I had a really good time making this Windows 10 In-Depth series, and I plan to continue it next year, but we're taking a little bit of break for the holidays. So if you have a suggestion for an app that you want us to take a look at, if you want us to look into Windows 10 Mobile, please make sure to tell us in the comments below or jump over on Twitter and contact us there. I hope you have a good end of the year, get some time to rest, eat, see family and friends, and we'll see you again next time in 2016.